morning folks I'm back at the barnyard this is the spot where you can't hardly walk three four steps without finding deer droppings a lot of deer browsing in this area this is probably the last chance I'll get to hunt for this year and I thought well there's no better place to sit than where the highest deer activity I've been able to find is located so let's see I've probably been sitting in the tree stand for about an hour and a group of does started easing through and I'm not really sure exactly how many were in this group but I'm pretty sure there were at least four or five as you can see they're just milling around easing through the feed area headed to bed bed is to the right the ridge is up top out forward from where you're looking at now and they're coming from a draw there's a green field down at the bottom of that draw it's a pretty good ways from here but you can see these deer just are just browsing their way basically back to bed now, I forgot to mention that I seen a really nice buck slipping up to my tree stand this morning but just couldn't get him on video or could not get the shot pulled off man now i'm a little bit uh disappointed in seeing a group of does coming through i i was really hoping to see a couple of bucks slipping by this morning usually when i see does together i don't see the bucks and when I see the bucks coming together, I don't see the does. And this late in the year, the rut's over, so that's just basically feed to bed, bed to feed pattern. And they separate themselves. I guess they're back in bachelor groups and doe groups. Now this doe right here is kind of spotted something up on the ridge. And I can hear something up on top of the ridge, but I'm not really sure what it is. I'm thinking, is it possible that there's a buck going to be coming in here to investigate these does? I'm kind of getting excited. I see the tail go up. She's flagging. She's not in any way uh, alerted by me because the wind's perfect for me. You can see she's walking around with the tail up in the air. I'm thinking, hey, this might turn out to be nice. So I'm just staring at these deer trying to figure out what it is they're looking at because I don't see anything up on the ridge. Now I cut some of the footage out right there because these does stood there a long time. I didn't figure you guys wanted to just sit here and stare at a doe forever. You can just look at her. She's looking back and forth, back and forth. I don't know exactly what's got their curiosity up, man. It's been probably several minutes gone by, and I still don't see anything on top of the ridge. And it could be that these deer just hear something. I've watched deer before. They can hear deer on the other side of a ridge. They don't know what it is. And then finally, when they see each other, everything's cool. The way this doe's flagging and walking up, I'm thinking, well, she sees whatever it is, she goes out there and she's actually chasing it. And I finally see or catch a glimpse of what it is. It was two hen turkeys. And that little doe run out there and chased those two hen turkeys off. So there was my mysterious answer. Well, after the, that one doe chased the hen turkeys off the way it did, the other doe started settling down and went right back to feeding on low brows. Went right back to a relaxing state of mind, you know. Now that they know what the noise was, I figured that's probably what happened, is they heard the noise coming for a long time, got nervous, kind of froze up. And then once they saw it was turkey, that one little old doe took off after him. That was funny. 
I've seen turkey and deer feed along side by side, especially on acorns. Uh, I actually watched a little buck uh, follow three gobbler turkeys all the way across a, a high ridge of bottom and then up on the next ridge. He just kind of kept his distance from them, you know, stayed about 15, 20 yards behind them the whole time. And this deer right here, they're just, they're relaxed, and I don't know, I'm thinking, should I take one? Uh, one of them gives me an opportunity. And in all honesty, I just didn't feel like shooting a doe today. Really wanting a buck. Well, that was that group of does that come through this morning. Uh, I had one within bow range I could have took, and they got real spooky. I thought they smelt me this morning. The wind was kind of calm, you know, and I thought maybe my scent settled to the ground, but it was still kind of cool. I felt like the thermals would be pulling it up. Then I realized what they were looking at were uh, a couple of hen turkey come through. Had them all boogered up. They didn't have no clue that I was in the world. But they went up there and eventually circled around out in that clear cut and got downwind of me. And that old big doe got me, smelt me for sure. She come back a couple of times just to make sure. At first I didn't even turn the camcorder on. I was just watching her, hoping she'd settle down. My hunt may be over for the morning. It's been a fine morning. Seen one really, really nice buck. I consider him a shooter for sure. Unfortunately, he didn't come within bow range of me. Been exciting.